Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the back of the tea cap. And in order to save some time in the video, I did a little bit of prep work by cutting lace and entredeau and trimming entredeau ahead of time. So once again, I'm gonna begin with my middle piece of beading and a piece of entredeau. And I'm gonna sew entredeau to both sides of this beading. Just butting the lace up next to the entredeau. Dropping my needle to make sure I'm in an entredeau hole and not stabbing the ladder. And just slowly zigzagging the beading to the entredeau. Okay, this will take me a minute to get the beading sewn onto both sides of this lace. Okay, so I've got my entredeau sewn to both sides of my beading and I've gone ahead and trimmed it. So now I can butt my narrow insertion lace up next to this entredeau and sew the narrow insertion lace um, to what will become my panel for the back of the bonnet. Make sure I'm in an entredeau hole and not step. There we go. Now this narrow insertion lace is from the same family as the wider insertion lace. So they match each other. Well, not match, but they blend with one another. Okay, so this will take me a minute to get my other piece of insertion lace sewn on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got both insertion laces um, sewn to the sides of the beading. So I'm going to sew entredeau um, to the other, to both sides or both ends of the panel, sewing it to the narrow insertion lace. Okay, this will take me a minute to get both pieces of entredeau sewn to the lace panel. So I'll be right back. Okay, now except for my edging lace, uh, which is only gonna go around three sides this time, um, the next thing I need to do is I need to weave the silk ribbon through the beading again so that I can sew the entredeau um, to one of the ends of the lace panel. So this will take me a minute to get this ribbon, ribbon woven through. Hang on. Okay, so I have the ribbon woven through. Um, I have trimmed my entredeau on either side of the panel um, to prepare for sewing on the edging lace. And I've cut a small piece of entredeau, which will be at the bottom back um, of the bonnet. So I've got my machine set to a straight stitch. So I'm going to sew my entredeau 
to one end of the little panel. Okay, now I need to go to the ironing board and I need to press this entredo seam toward the inside um, of the bonnet back and then I'll come back and zigzag. Okay, I've got that pressed and now I'm gonna zigzag that entredo into place, catching the fold of the panel on the left and the entredo hole on the right. Okay, now using my specialty scissors, I'm gonna trim away this excess seam from the back of the inside of the bonnet close to where I just zigzagged. There we go. And then I'm going to, using my embroidery scissors, I'm going to make a nice square corner on the entredeau and then trim the excess batiste away. Okay, now with my edging lace, I need two pieces of edging lace. Um, they don't need to be an inch and a half longer on either side because I can line them up I'm up at the top of the bonnet, but they do need to hang down um, about a quarter of an inch below the bottom of the, of the bonnet. Okay. Now, once again, I will zigzag that into place. I can line up the top of the bonnet cap and then leave the excess lace hanging down off of the bottom. Set to a zigzag still. Okay, I need to sew both pieces of laces onto either side of the back panel. So this will take me a minute. Okay, so I've got my lace sewn on both sides of the little back panel. Now, I'm going to hang my lace over about an inch and a half on either side. I'm gonna start zigzagging at the corner of the entredeau and zigzag to the other corner of the entredeau. Now, since I'm going across grain of the lace, um, I'll have to do this slowly so that I maintain going in the entredeau hole on the left and catching the header of the lace on the right. and just stop when you get to the other corner of the entredeau. Yep, I'm having a little trouble cutting my threads.
Okay, now just like I did for the top sides um, on this little end um, of the panel, I've got my tiny little um, drafting triangle and I'm going to mark a 45 degree angle on the lace on both corners. Just line the drafting triangle up with the bottom of the lace. Make sure the laces are coming in at a 45 degree or, or a 90 degree angle, pardon me. Okay, and it looks like I need to rethread my machine, so I'll be right back. Okay, all right, now from the inside of the little panel, I'm gonna fold the bottom corner and the side corner at a 45 degree angle so that these two little pieces of laces line up with one another. Then I'm gonna start at that corner of the entredeau and using a straight stitch, I'm gonna sew a little mitered seam into the lace. Just kind of go slow so that your lace won't bunch up on you. Okay, we'll repeat this process for the other side. Fold it at a 45 degree angle to where your side and your bottom matches up. And then your two pieces of lace will lay one on top of each other. And then start at the corner of the entredeau and sew a straight seam that's at a 45 degree angle following the blue line you made with your blue marking pen. Okay. Okay, so we've got both of the little corners done, so I'm going to trim these down. And then I'll go to the ironing board real quickly and I'll press my mitered corners so that they're nice and flat. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my top side piece out here again because we're about to attach the back piece to the top piece. But before we do that, I'm gonna lay my back pattern piece on top of the panel and it's just about the right width. I mean, it's close enough. So I'm going to trim this across. Now I know where the center of my back panel is because I have a ribbon there. Okay, what I need to do is I need to sew this back panel to the middle of the back of the bonnet. So I'm going to fold the bonnet in half and on this exterior entredo line, I'm gonna make a blue mark right in the center of the bonnet. Okay. Let me move my fabric cutting scissors out of the way again. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide my back piece up under about a quarter of an inch up under that entredo line. Okay, now since I like to pin things, I'm gonna pin my back panel into place. I've lined up the little blue line with the center of my little blue ribbon. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is on both sides of this exterior entredeau, you can see here where the back panel begins and where the back panel ends. I'm going to zigzag on both sides you know, of the entredeau like I did before 
to hold the back panel to the top sides. So I've got my machine set to a zigzag again. And I'm going to start about a quarter of an inch before the back panel starts. And I'm going to start zigzagging. Um, on the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zigzag the right side of the entredeau ladder first. And then I'll come back and zigzag the left side of the entredeau ladder. Okay, now I'm on the panel already, so I'm gonna take my first pin out. Just take your pins out as you come to them. I'm about to go over the middle blue ribbon. out my last pin. And then I'm going to sew to about a quarter of an inch past where the panel actually um, goes up underneath. Let me clip my threads. Okay, so that is sewn in that is sewn into place on one side of the entredeau. Now I'm gonna come back um, and I'm gonna zigzag the left side of the entredeau ladder, doing the same thing. Okay, now just to neaten this up a little bit on the inside, I'm going to use my specialty scissors and close to the interior entrée line, I'm going to trim a little bit of the back panel of the bonnet away. You don't need to get too close, but you do want to trim it back a little bit. There we go. Okay, it's starting to look like a little tea cat bonnet, isn't it? Okay, now in the next video, we will sew some ribbons to all one, two, three, four, five, all six corners of the bonnet. We'll do some five-eighths inch ribbon up in the front and some quarter inch ribbon I'm at the back. In the bonnet will fit together um, sort of like this um, and go on the baby's head. So this is turning out very, very nice, I think. Okay, so creating the back panel and sewing it to the top side of the bonnet was what we were doing today. Thank you.